the first question that i actually even asked you yesterday on our ice breaking call mm. was whenever we mm. see any kind of an anime mm-hmm. even holding hands and everything is very intimate so is that actually true mm. and why is it um so basically in japan the I'm so sorry but I have never experienced like I you know the first hand like how to not how to say this I mean I have nothing to compare okay. it to but in general I feel like people are as I said to you before very mm. reserved right people mm. don't open up that's their innate mm-hmm. personality um so Indians are like you know I could meet you for the first time and then I could be hugging you twice or thrice the same day right which is absolutely mm-hmm. normal like you know bro yeah. like yo mm-hmm. let's you know handshake mm-hmm. or high five or something right the skinship in japan is not very common people don't uh-huh. really do it even if you know them mm-hmm. for a long time so maybe that's why your brain chemistry is altered when somebody can hold your, mm-hmm. your hand voluntarily mm-hmm. right that's against their then no how they been yeah. Yeah. raised because this yeah, actually yeah. happened with me and it's very strange that it didn't happen to you even though you are in japan okay <laughs> it happened mm. to me with mayo mm. okay okay so there is a youtuber called mayo japan so i oh, know okay. her yeah. so i met her at comic con mumbai okay and while i was introducing mm. her like we introduce had like this we just do this something or the other mm. or just hug it mm. out right mm. so i'm used to that mm-hmm. so i was like Hi, it's nice to mm. meet you. And then it was a very awkward pause, a very awkward pause. Oh and God. then there was a girl oh behind. He was like, "What's happening?" <laughs> <laughs> and it was very awkward. Hmm. So that happened with me, and that's why yeah, I'm asking yeah, you yeah, this yeah. because I never, f- I thought that whatever I saw in the anime was not real, but then it happened first time with her, and I was like, "Hmm, hmm. anime is real." <laughs> yeah, yeah. This would, yeah, this would happen. happen to you not just with like you know a woman but even a even a dude that you just met you know even they would not appreciate you hugging them mm-hmm. out of nowhere so even platonic relationships are devoid of mm-hmm. kinship in com- in comparison to indians cuz we are very very loving mm-hmm. you know openly loving people mm-hmm. right yeah. they like keep love in a private space you know if you want to show love do it in your bedroom you know that kind of mentality mm-hmm. but for us love goes beyond just yeah. romance right i mean if i if i meet my friend after a long time i want mm. to hug her you know i want to like mm. hold her hand but they don't have that wired mm-hmm. into them so you know do you so, think that also yeah. applicable to same sexes yeah yes this is me if it's a guy acha okay yeah. <laughs> i missed that out mm-hmm. okay so the next thing <laughs> that i actually had was one of the reasons why i also want to go to japan is because i want to check the fireworks Hanabi mm. mm. and then uh, uh, I always felt that I have a minor um, breathing issue I don't like pollution I don't even get out during Diwali okay because I can't handle that and my mm. throat gets all messed up so no like is it worse after the whole fire firework ends because I have seen videos that like 5 km stretch of fireworks is just uh, they are just burning fireworks there's a lot of pollution around even though it looks beautiful but most of the time mm-hmm. after the first half mm-hmm. the fire crackers are not even visible hmm can you share your experience of watching mm-hmm. the fireworks in japan every time there's fireworks i go back to india Ooh. in the summer so i really never really experience the real like hanabi the summer mm-hmm. hanabi however i have seen fireworks you know maybe if i'm traveling and suddenly oh look there is fireworks i'm not a part mm-hmm. of the crowd i just see it from mm-hmm. a distance so i wouldn't be able to like confirm anything but i hope that i will be able to see it next year mm-hmm. and tell you <laughs> how mm-hmm. it is but uh, do you have by any chance any idea about um so it was very strange for me to see that there, there is a proper firework festival with a lot of stalls and it's one of the people who are mm-hmm. so much uh, so it's also one of my dreams to go and visit that fireworks festival hanabi go and visit that have like the apple mm. ice sweet apple sweet like, apple apple on a stick uh, ah. then the octopus balls oto 
uh, okinaki yaki nahi <laughs> nahi what do you call the octopus octopus balls i don't remember okonami taki something <laughs> takoyaki yeah 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 takoyaki yeah. okay so yeah i want to try that i want to try like there is also a goldfish thing right like we see in the anime oh my yeah, god yeah that you try to do scoop it out from the water yeah yeah mm. so i want to try all of these yeah things. so all of these happen all throughout the year actually it's not just in the summer so i have experienced all of the stuff that you just mm. said but not in the summer mm-hmm. um so if you come any season maybe uh, there are stuff happening in the spring then again in the autumn and then again in the mm. summer not much happening mm. in the winter mm. to be honest but other three seasons you can experience that cute um anime mm. adventure in the um festival so it's really mm. nice okay do you have any questions uh no like pretty much covered quite a few things uh we would want to know your favorite anime yeah your top 3 uh, anime yeah. like we ask our guest like oh this staple question 